You excited? Yeah, train to Riga, nice change. Train to Riga from Ireland. That looks like something Peter would drive. I think it's absolutely awesome. Good morning from Riga. Proper flexi and extremely light. Right, I better go. There you go. Oh, no. Yeah. That time is your flight. Yeah, buddy. Brian, man. Be <laughs> five. Put my trains at ten to twelve. Rocky. It's only me five. Me five. Come on. Better one. Ah, come on. Hard one. Hard. Good wow. boy. All right. And see you soon. No Take no care. And huggies. Bye. Mm, huggies, Lil. Mind, just, mind okay. yourself. Huggy, Huggy, Fine, Rob. Jane. See you soon. See, Huggy. Oh. See you in a few weeks. Okay, James. Bye. Let's go. All right, Mikey. Collecting you in your old car. Yeah. How are things? Good. <laughs> Organized as ever. Oh, yeah. How are things? Good. Sorry, I want to see Dano's going off. Oh. <laughs> Good. Jeez, this thing is sweet. Golf? Yeah, he, he gave it a chip, I think. Yeah, he did. I think he, he changed the turbo. He put a bigger turbo on it, too. Oh, uh, it's quick enough. I think he put a turbo off 150 and a same tune. Fair torque. Yeah, there is, stay fair. Excited? Yeah, train to Riga. Oh. Nice change. Train to Riga from Ireland. I wish. Well, no, actually, I don't. <laughs> Dublin first. Then we're jumping on a flight to Riga. What language are they speaking? Quite Irish. Attention, please, ladies and gentlemen. Nice little train journey. Are you going to drive it? I'd say it should be easy enough to drive. Surely, there can't be that many pedals to it or steering wheel. There's no steering wheel, is there? I'd say it would definitely make an imprint. Right, we're in Dublin. Dublin, Ireland. Got your ticket? Ah, oh, shit. Do you ever drink something? Guinness? Let's try it sometime. Well, it's a train station. I've been travelling to the airport for quite a few years. And today is the first day I got the train and then the bus the airport. It's very cheap and yeah. quite easy. Um, absolutely no delays, so Irish public transport. Good job. That was fairly taken efficient. Sorry. Dublin. It's busy enough. McDonald's. Oh, <laughs> McDonald's. Oh, he's stopping here. I wonder will he wait. <laughs> to be fair, the leg room isn't amazing. My knee is being used as a headrest. <laughs> yeah, so. Back in Dublin Airport, about to catch our flight to Riga. Um, it's been an enjoyable week at home. So we've been away for two months, got back for a week, had a really nice time meeting family and friends after being away for so long. Uh, but now, back on the road again. We got Riga this weekend, then uh, Riga, St. Louis, and then back for Trip Masters in Germany. So busy, three weeks on the road. Excited, back in the Euro fighter this weekend for Drift Masters and one of my favorite tracks in Europe. Uh, so I can't wait to see what it's like and high speed layout. Uh, hopefully, we have a good result. How are things? <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, awesome then. Can I, can I have a picture? Yeah, no problem. But, no problem. But then you, you, put, uh, you make the video. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, man. Is that Peter in the truck? Flying the airplane and everything. It's Peter. Oh, that, that looks like something Peter would drive and think it's 
absolutely awesome. The right there probably run an 88 octane today. Cheapest possible, is it? 88. <laughs> Unleaded. So we're in Riga. It's a bit darker here. It's surprisingly cold as well for Riga. Yeah. Usually, oh geez, usually it's very warm. We just came to the future. Two hours ahead of ourselves. <laughs> yeah. So first day in Riga, Latvia, uh, we stopped by HEK Racing to do a few small jobs to this. Um, just a couple of maintenance things and a check over before practice starts tomorrow. Um, it's where the car was originally all the fabrication work done, uh, chassis paint and very close to here they make all the carbon Kevlar. And we're in good company. It's a new one they're just finishing off. They're so sick when they're raw. Carbon Cavalier. Gold wheels look pretty cool on the too. It's the quality of these cars, especially when they're brand new out of the box, is just like next level, for sure. I love, love, love looking at their work. Yeah, so two little twins there. Um, a lot of history here as well from some fun cars they've had, a Corvette chassis there. A couple of the other guys getting ready for uh, Drift Masters this weekend. The frame they made for the chassis. To make sure all the points are all in the right place before they start fabricating. I think that's a work of art itself. Um, so yeah, Trevor got here yesterday afternoon after driving from Ireland. When did you leave Trevor? Left on Saturday. Didn't you? Yeah. And uh, Saturday. How many kilometers? 3,300 or something? Yeah, so he's recovering. Straight into work in this machine. Michael, we had it a bit easy flying over. But now we're busy because, as everyone knows, you have to clean every nut and bolt on a drift car with paper before every event. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Some secret tip from Michael Sheehan. Um, yeah, so, got a blast of Falcon tires in here. Enough ignite fuel to get us through the last couple of rounds. And uh, let's see what we have inside. I'm not sure if Chris Stas will let me uh, record, but let's do it anyway. Can we edit it after? He's angry. You don't want to make Chris Stas it's angry. It's a cool, cool place. And, uh, another cool part about this is the grandstands you can see there are actually just the first two corners that were drifting here in Riga this weekend. So that's all the back of the grandstands and the racetrack is right in front of that. So yeah, the guys knew exactly what they were doing when they decided uh, where to build HGK Racing. Like one of the coolest tracks in Europe at the other side of the fence. It's awesome. Got the guys here from Norway getting their GT86 ready. What's up lads? More Eurofighters in the background. And ah, oh, we're just a second too late to see this. This is a HEK Racing kit car. Serious piece of engineering. They built this back in 2011. And as you can see, it is all space framed. Completely custom made, one off build. You can take off the whole rear of the car here. Um, this is, look at that, like, look straight down to the quick change. Fuel tank right in front of the subframe. All double wishbone suspension on the back. Absolutely nothing from a BMW used in this car. Maybe the tail lights. And let's see where that. Yeah, it's a pretty cool machine. Brian the Samsung, a sequential gearbox. Under the bonnet is sick. Uh, double wishbone suspension again. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure the steering is off an RX-8. Um, it's very similar to my RX-7. So, double wishbone again. They made their own custom headers. Eight into one. And exiting out the bonnet. Like, and look where the engine sits. Like, windscreen cut. It's to fit the airbox. Well, that's absolutely sick. And I love seeing what the guys can do here. Uh, just one-off stuff. Um, I heard 
that there are plans for this in the future it might be. Uh, again, Kristaps, sorry if I shouldn't say this, but uh, potentially making this four-wheel drive for Jim Canna, so that would be absolutely sick. Again, they'll probably change all, obviously change where the suspensions are mounted because you'll have the drive shafts coming out here. Um, yeah, so it's going to change the exhaust and a lot of other stuff to modify to make it work, but no better guys, that's for sure. Two more E92s. Definitely time to uh, get the most out of this machine, hopefully this weekend. See how far we can take it. from Riga. First day here at the track. Uh, practice was starting in a couple of hours so we're just setting up for everything today. Got a stack of Falcon tires here. Fresh 720 style 5.5s and satin black. A really cool wheel. We just have to put on the stickers on them for the regulations. I love the concave in these things. Um, guys are just finishing the car. Trevor's changing the quick change ratio. Michael is playing with the rev limiter. Ask him to make it a bit higher. Dabbit's here with his cool uh, 370Z. Mass Motorsports V8. Sequential box, quick change, wise fab, all the usual parts. Right, I better get ready for briefing actually. So we'll try to get some onboard footage from you guys on track and uh, see what you think of the E92 Eurofighter from the inside. Uh, it's fast track, and the first corner, pretty much full throttle, transition back while being on full throttle on the transition and you're just pinned the whole way through. And they've added this new wall right at the end section, which is, which is uh, really, really fun. So. A lot of crazy drivers here this weekend. Uh, people are hungry to take that win, so it's, it's gonna be a challenge, but we're gonna give it our best. Let's see how it goes. Some final checks on the car before qualifying. Alcon brakes are absolutely sick. Custom BC coilovers on the rear. Adjustable sway bar, wise fab. Radium fuel cell. Right, this car carbon Cavalier rear bumper is proper flexy and extremely light. All right, let's hope qualifying goes good. against Max Miller is really looking forward to it. Car was running brilliant all weekend, absolutely no problems and 
on the straight leading up to the first corner. Uh, I was on full throttle, but the car was misfiring, breaking down. Um, I thought it might have been a nitrous problem, so I turned the nitrous off and it was still breaking down. Uh, reset the car to try to go out for the second run. And uh, it was I was able to rev it and the car would not like rev out. So, not sure what it is, the guys are checking now, but uh, I am just disappointed because I really wanted to try hard this weekend, but in general, we had some good practice runs, we know the car is capable of doing well, and uh, ah. to me, I, I was hoping for uh, To me, more important to have a, a battle with you than top 16, I swear. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hopefully next time it's a, a, an actual battle. See you later. I turned yeah. off at the check, it was the bottle empty. I just turned it off as I was entering it's the first car. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, man. Love you. You're a legend. Thank you. Bye-bye. So to make things better, we have a lot of Irish people here. Got a couple of bottles of champagne, apparently. So, I'll let that to the guys to drink. I think Darren can cope I'm with that. I'm disappointed in you, <laughs> I'm very I'm disappointed, mistaken. to be honest. I had to throw away a quarter of my beer running over. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't carry everything. She's so freaking sad. I know. She's so freaking sad. <laughs> it wasn't Is there any sign of something? I, I turned the nitrous off, off as I was in fork here. Ah. To make it even worse, such a simple thing happened. Um, the map sensor pipe for the um, ECU came off the intake manifold. Uh, yeah, so it was just obviously... The thing was all wrong and... Uh, simple thing. Rubber hose, the only rubber hose in the entire car, but you know, these things happen. We learn from it and uh, come back, but it's just very, you know, disappointing when it's uh, such a small little thing and when the car ran so good in practice. Uh, but you know, these things happen, it's motorsport. Um, it's all really looking forward to the next round. Um, I'm getting happier and happier with this car and yeah i saw what it's capable of in a fast track today with tandem practice really enjoying it uh but, you know we'll come back so we'll see you guys in uh where where are we going next st louis next weekend take care back with peter and also third step on the podium you're up for jack He came here this weekend in an incredible SR20 S15 and he wowed us all from Russia. We get up for second place for Gotcha! Yeah. All the way from the UK, it's been a long time coming! Very good service. <laughs>